like an indirect sun section. Why am I so picky? Just lower your standards already. Cool, let's film stuff and put it on YouTube. I might plant some plants. I don't know. I'm going to see what's out there. I mean, obviously fresh plants are the epitome of spring. So yes, there will be some fresh plants. I'm feeling some outdoor plates. Guys, I don't have any. All I have is the same sad plates that you keep seeing <laughs> in all my videos. I have some string lights that I'm going to hang in these um, areas. I'll show you what we're dealing with. It's that fun time of spring where sometimes it's warm and sunny and sometimes it's chilly and rainy. So right now we have the sun and then next week we're out of town. I feel like well, then it's going to be April, and by the time I get back, I'm just going to want it to be done already. So I really want to get this done before we go. I'm going to give you a tour, and then we're going to go see what's in the stores. So here's the back door, and you come down the steps, and here's the first area. This, I think, is going to be kind of the outdoor living room. I want to put the couch right here and then I have a couple of chairs in our old patio furniture. So I'm going to bring that over here and then string the lights kind of across this way. And then from the stairs you come around this way. You see you've seen the lemon tree before. There it is in all its glory. Beautiful plants over here and then we have this space. And it's not a big space, like we don't have a big backyard, but I think that we have room for the dining room table. So right here, and there is the barbecue, and then back there is the, there are the trash cans and stuff. I want to put, <laughs> I want to put the smoker right there, but I'm afraid that like smoke will actually start to discolor the house, and I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna try to make it work with the smoker right here. And then again, putting lights up here. That is the plan, we'll see how it goes. We're only going here first because it was on the way, Home Goods. Let's see. They have a lot of pretty nice pot like pots that are pretty reasonable, $13. So. Yeah, good options. Good options. I'm looking for like a low wide dish, like a big disc. I don't know. I don't see anything like that here though. We'll keep looking. All right, there's actually kind of a lot to choose from here. So let's see what we can find that's good. Okay, next stop is gonna be Walmart. I've seen some posts for lots of months now, actually. I think they're really trying to step up their decor game, and I know they have plants and stuff, so I'm gonna head over there next. All right, there's a lot of options here. I'm pretty impressed. I am pretty impressed. Color me impressed. Let's see what I'm gonna pick. Oh, I should probably read the directions. All right, uh, Ranunculus, full sun, six plus hours. Oh, it doesn't get full sun back there. Oh, crap. We need indirect sun. Do they categorize them like that? Is there like an indirect sun section? No. Hmm. All right. Oh, Lavender, I know you. You are full sun faux show. Show full sun, uh, part sun. You're cute, you're pretty cute. Oh my god, it's like the plant hospice section. I mean, these are pretty much dead. What the hell? Why could anybody bring these back to life? Is this a thing? Can you tell me if you could bring these back to life? Because, wow, nope, I don't want that. Why am I so picky? Oh my god. Just lower your standards already. These are kind of neat. Hmm. Although, they might need 
We might, we might need a palliative consult. Dude, these are almost hospice. These are almost dead. Look, oh my god. I'm not going to pay $10 for that. Everything's falling off. I need a palliative consult here, please, for these plants. This is sad. Like, this one looks like it has a lot of buds. Is this how you choose plants? I don't even know. Woo! I'm going to try. So like an idiot, I was filming with my air conditioner on because it was really hot in there and I didn't think that the camera would pick it up, but it did. So what we're going over here is that I don't like pink and so it's hard to shop for spring flowers when there is no pink involved. So I was looking mainly for purple, yellow, and white and not a lot of pink or any pink really. So that is what I was going over. And we Next, I did end up going to Home Depot to buy some more plants, but I didn't record any of it because there was a ton of people there and I just wanted to be over and done with the shopping of all the plants and sorting through full sun and part sun and whatever. So anyway, I bought some plants there, the end. The next order of business was moving over our patio furniture that we've had for, I wanna say, I mean, definitely before COVID. So six or seven years at this point, maybe, I don't know. Well, it was purchased to fit in a different space. So we're gonna try to make it work here. What else are you bringing over? Uh, there's chairs. I don't think there's gonna be room right here. I was hopeful that there was gonna be room, but there really wasn't. Oy, what am I gonna do? We're just going to move on from here and think about it later. <laughs> Avoidance, always a win. The lovely people at Olney sent me these lights, these patio string lights, and I think it's a new product for them. It's still kind of a trip for me to have a company like, first of all, find my channel because it's still pretty small. And second of all, to think that what I'm doing is good enough that they want me to use their product. That's, I mean, I'm so honored. So thank you to Olney. If you remember, they were the same lights that I used in some of the outside light plan for Christmas around the house. I, I used them in the cypress, I think they're cypress trees around uh, the garage. Anyway, um, I, I can't wait to string these up and to make this very magical reading kind of relaxation space. Thank you again to Olney. Link is in the description box if you are looking in the market for lights. I am impressed with their products, their quality, both of the stirring lights that I used for the Christmas lights and then also for these lights. So thank you again so much. And these string lights are 120 feet long. And even though that was more than enough length for this particular space, cause it's pretty small, you can put like 20 of them together. I mean, and just go all out if you have a huge backyard or have a big event that you're planning or whatever. They also are waterproof, which is perfect because they are outside. And I was really surprised at how light they were. So really easy to work with, very easy to attach. You can staple them or use hooks or whatever. So these are the hooks that I use and they were a lifesaver for this project. So that backlight is, means business, but I think, I think what I'm gonna have to do is go from there to there and then back again and then maybe around like this bottom part under the lattice because uh, I think 120 feet was too much. I don't know. I don't know how to measure this stuff. I'm just winging it. You know what I mean? I'm just winging it. It's not my area of expertise. I think it's looking good.
this situation with the furniture is a problem. Let me let me demonstrate. <laughs> There's too much furniture and it won't fit right. I, I don't know what to do. There, I don't know what to do. There's no other place for the couch. I'm okay with that there, but then what do I do with the coffee table? You can see the hydrangea right there. Nope, right there. And I can move that. I just need a um, like a longer, I don't know what you call it, black pipe thing for the sprinkler that goes in the pot. And I can move it more towards the center of that fence. Oh, but the coffee table looks stupid. Two little ottomans. See? Like this one. So what am I gonna do with those? It's uh I gotta take a shower. <laughs> I'm done for today. Um in a decision that, that I may live to regret. Let me show you what I did. I took these covers off to wash because they were just really dusty. They were bad. They were bad. Um, I know that you're supposed to ideally spot clean this umbrella. There was no way. So, um, but there was no way. And some of these are really, really tight to get on. I may, I think I might regret this tomorrow. They're all air drying right now because you can't put them in the dryer. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. I have a tarp to cover all of this. But I'm it's not gonna come until like midday. So I'm gonna get up and put the covers back on. <laughs> I, I never, ever, ever, ever estimate the right amount of time. It's like I need triple the amount of time. I haven't even touched the stupid plants. I haven't even touched them. They're just over there in the corner. Anyway, we will um, come back fresh in the morn. So it's the next day. I slept in a lot. If you saw my Instagram story, you know that yesterday, well, you know, the night before yesterday, I only slept like two hours because I was at work and I wanted to get all this stuff done yesterday. So no nap. I slept over 10 and a half hours. So it was needed. Then it started to sprinkle ahead of schedule. Well, I don't know whose schedule the weather's on, but not Google's schedule. Thank you, Google, for screwing my life up again. No, I love Google. Hi, creator. Love to YouTube, it's Google. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell, there's like raindrops there. So I rushed out here and put all the covers back on that um, I washed. I, um, it, I'm glad we did it. I think that's just wind. Shit. I'm glad that I washed all those covers, but also, no, it's rain. I gotta cover this stuff. Ah! Now it's just a sprinkle, now it's done. But you never know, that's the thing. So I guess I should plant some, plant some, plant some plants. <laughs> guess who's not raining again? Uh, also, the camera's crooked. Sorry about that. Everything's covered. 
Uh, I think I'm going to plant some plants. Oh, what I was saying, I was saying that um, this patio furniture is like seven years old, I think, seven years old. It looks okay, I think it looks pretty good. But obviously I've got issues in the seating area. The chairs are too deep for the space. So I have to figure out how to make it work. I thought about switching it around and having the dining table in that area. But I like that little, I like being able to read there under some twinkly lights. We can't have low lying twinkly lights here. The garbage is behind the, no, that back fence right there. And um, then we also have to, yeah. So anyway, it, it can't work. We can't have sweeping lights right here. It's just gonna have to go like along the fence to have the lights there. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting over a cold and it's just like, <sighs> the mucus production is not ideal. And so I'm constantly still blowing my nose. Anyway, I have to plant these plants. I wish I would have videoed it because it was quite comical putting all those like tight fitting covers back onto the cushions. I think I almost lost my hand three times. I don't know. Some of them are kind of lumpy, but it'll, you know, I'll mess around with it later when it doesn't have a constant threat of ominous weather. I didn't put lipstick on. I'm <laughs> super pale. Okay. okay I'm going to stop talking and we're going to plant some plants. Okay, this is what I ended up getting. Some things are from Walmart, some things are from Home Depot. So this purple guy, I don't know what he's called. He's gonna go in a big pot in the corner to hide all the extra lights that was dangling in the corner. These are from Walmart. You can kind of tell that one's on hospice. Palliative consult still pending. And then these calla lilies, I love calla lilies. They're from Home Depot. The little white guys are from Home Depot, and the Gerbara daisies are from Home Depot also. So yeah, let's get to planting, shall we? YouTube is hard. Filming is hard. Uh, maybe this direction? Let's try that. There's a whole bunch of things that I didn't know I didn't know when I started doing YouTube. And it's fun learning. I'm like, I love learning about stuff, and I'm enjoying this journey. Thank you for being here with me. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't know. I thought it was just like, oh, let's film stuff and put it on YouTube. Nope, that's not how it works. Will this work? Maybe. Ah, uh, yes. Hello. I want this to go on the dining table. I think that's going to be super cute and pretty. This guy, I got this at Home Goods for seven dollars, and then this one was eight dollars. I think I would like this to go in the sitting area. Put all these in the new homes. And the columbine, I'm gonna put in a bigger pot. <gasps> that fern has new growth. Ha <laughs> ha, look at this, this is so cool. <gasps> That's so pretty. Something distracted me, surprise, surprise. Story of my life. Cool. When I was planting that big yellow vine thing, in that pot I found like a whole slug nursery and it was so gross. Oh, it was so gross. I hate killing bugs. You might have seen me saving ladybugs in the guest room. I hate killing bugs, but I can't be having slugs mess up my new plants. So I win. Well, I'm a slug murderer. Slug murderer. <laughs> Story time with Nicole. When, <laughs> when I was in biology and I had to do, you know, like experiments and stuff, I hated when I killed the cells. I had to kill the cells to complete the experiment because I didn't want to kill anything. Lame. Why am I like this? <laughs> I don't know. Am I supposed to leave this thing in here? Uh, I think it's supposed to drain, right? That's good for plants, drainage. But I don't want to lose this because this seems like a very specific thing. Excuse me, sir. Get out. Get out of my plant. It's getting cold. The storm is a coming. The storm is a coming. Am I supposed to put like rocks and stuff at the bottom? That's what I read somewhere. 
Be another rock. A rock. Here's a shell and a rock. Cool. Aren't these pretty? I love this. This is great. Ooh, that's big. Oh dear. That's all roots. Oh my god. Uh, are you gonna fit? Oh shit. <laughs> Why am I doing this? I've only done this one time before. I feel like I'm killing the roots. Can I just rip it off? <gasps> I need advice. All the roots need to somehow stay. I don't know. Don't know you guys. Oh. I feel like I'm break ripping them. I have doubts. Many, many doubts. Wow. I feel like you are confined for a long time in your life. And I want to set you free. I'm putting you in a, <laughs> in a bowl. Mm. There's like not even any soil in here. It's just root. How are you alive? How are you even alive? Excuse me? Uh... Hello? Please don't enter my yard, stranger. Oh, I'm sorry. Five minutes later. This is definitely not right. Well, we're just gonna go with it. I feel like Walmart was not a good parent for you. I feel like hopefully I'll be better. But we're not starting out super strong, but we can get through this with love and patience. Hmm? Lithodora. Cute little flowers. I'm happy with that. I hope you are too. I feel like it's colder than it was when I woke up this morning, which I guess makes sense. See, I feel like there's dirt in this. I feel like Home Depot is a better parent to you. You have a better start in life. Little up my vibe. You're not gonna be dirty forever. Everybody just calm down. Everybody calm down. Okay, okay. That's cute. That's super cute. More stickers. More stickers. Thanks, Home Goods. How many stickers can you put on one thing? 875. I've read that you're supposed to do this, but you can't get too much taller. Ah! You can get wider. to it because I'm coming out here more this summer. Well, yeah, same to you, buddy. I will destroy you. All right, cute. I like it. I'm anticipating this might be the last storm. I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's California. I will take whatever rain we're going to get. But I know that beyond a certain point, it's not good for the grapes and the vineyards and stuff. I'm just hoping that whatever the farmers want for their crops, it stops in time. Okay. Oh, that was cute. Very good. I'm liking it. The palliative project and that pot is somewhere else. Why don't you come with me since we're doing this together? Oh, my nose is annoying me. This isn't Columbine. What am I talking? Aquilegia. Aquilegia? I don't know. I... Again, Walmart, I don't think you're the best pet parent. Look at it, there's not even any dirt in here. I'm setting you free. Alright, maybe that's why you're unhappy. Because you're all confined. I know that would make me unhappy. 
we are going to rectify that whole situation. But I see little, um, maybe flowers. Okay, we're going to be hopeful, but I think I have to trim that. The aquilegia. That's not looking good. This guy. I know I'm supposed to be cutting these, but <laughs> ripping is also a technique. <laughs> well, you have nuts. Stop yelling at me. We feed the squirrels, so I know that some people find them to be pests. We just find them to be cute. They talk a lot to us. Well, to Tracy, because she feeds them most of the time. All the time? Yeah, all the time, let's be honest. All the time. And if we're out here and they haven't been fed, they start chirping and doing squirrel things. But she just put out the nuts, so I don't know what the problem is. Are you upset that the storm is coming? Yeah? Well, it's okay. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. I was hoping to find peonies, like not cut ones, like the plant, to plant in the yard, but I didn't see any anywhere. I didn't go to the fancy, expensive nursery. They might be there. If they don't sell it in the nursery, I think that just means it doesn't grow in your area, so I think my peony dream might not actually be a thing but I did get those calla lilies that look gorgeous and I love calla lilies we've uh, I think resurrected these from the dead we'll see time will tell but we are not a comfort care situation anymore we are on we are full code we are full code this is not good am I a harsh planter is it or does this just happen oh no I lost another one. Oh god excuse me Oh, there's a hole that needs to be filled with dirt in there. Excuse me. You'll feel better. Trust me. I'm sorry. 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 As I finish up this planting insanity, just stay tuned for part two, where the following questions will be answered. Will I fit all the furniture? Which part of nature will I piss off next? And what will the dining table look like? Stay tuned. Oh.